Well, good morning, folks. It is a beautiful morning here in southern Maryland. I don't know if you call this South Central Maryland, whatever you want to call it. Either way, we're 10 miles north of Harpers Ferry. 10 and a half. Got to get back to the trail. We are leaving the treehouse campground. Got a half a mile hike to get back up to the trail. And we're gonna bring out there because that's where the War Correspondence Memorial is. Some really neat stuff to check out there. But uh, definitely put this place on your map. Good kind people, very helpful, very accommodating. You know, if you're looking for a luxury and high frills, this ain't the place, but if you like a little something a little rustic, have a nice little wood stove in your cabin. This is a great, great place to spend the night, get that fire going, especially if you got wet gear. Get that fire going, dry all your stuff out. Worked great for us. So we will pull you out when we get up to the memorial. All right, folks, we are here at the War Correspondence Memorial. This plaque right here tells you about the Battle of South Mountain. A lot of activity between Frederick, Harpers Ferry, Hagerstown, Boonesboro. And then here behind me is the backside of the memorial. There's some other really old buildings up here. Check those out in a moment. Some memorial here. War correspondence. That's what it says up there. Really cool memorial here. Over there is a brick building that's all an old stone building falling apart. I think it said 18, uh, just after the Civil War, 1880 something on it beautiful little gap in the road here so time to climb the trail get back in the woods head towards Hoppers Ferry gorilla out all right folks we're about a little over a mile and a half in today it's the way we came from you get these cool rock formations that have been along our left hand side the whole morning so far as we continue our ridge walk you got another mountain over there with a pretty much keeping this nice valley in between us. But it is chilly this morning for us. We're from Texas, so it's like 46 degrees. It's enough to freeze a fat boy from Texas. So we're gonna keep on moving. Check in with you all in a bit. All right, folks, it's your boy Vanilla Gorilla. I'm gonna do a little pontificating for you. I tried this video the other day, and when I went back to look, I guess I never hit the record button, so I'll do it now. But uh, growing up, when we were kids, all through growing up, I lived in this area, and I always had a general awareness that the trail was here, and there to go do, go walk on, but we just, I just never did. Um, it, I never had that calling to go do it. You know, when we when we went hiking, it was day hikes up in Catoctin and the falls and all kinds of cool places up in Green Ridge State Forest. And when we went tenting, it was car camping. Whether we were just camping or hunting or whatever, we did a lot of camping. But it was never backpacking camping. But you know, so it took me to almost 40 to want to go do it. So what? I'm here now. Anyway, there's my deep thoughts. But uh, in case I didn't touch on it yesterday, uh, my, my homeboy, my brother there, that was hiking with us earlier, I'm gonna keep his name off here for his privacy, but uh, unfortunately he got sick yesterday morning. I don't know if some food or something just didn't agree with him, but he's away. Sadly, he, uh, 
he went ahead and went home and that sucks man I know it was it was killing him to not push on with us we were having a blast hiking together you know that guy and I we've been brothers from another mother since we were kids man grew up together did all kinds of craziness together there for each other through good times and bads went to each other's wedding we were in each other's weddings so to my brother there love you homie wish you were still out in the woods with us we're gonna do this again but uh, I will say that my impression of the Appalachian Trail in Maryland is that it is nothing but rocks from start to finish so far of course we're not at the finish Right now we're about three and a half miles north of Weaverton Cliffs. And we still got this rock ledge to our left. And the trail is nothing but rocks. So it really slows down the pace, but you know, it is fairly easy walking. The ups and downs aren't bad today. It's just a lot of rocks. You gotta watch those ankles. So anyway, that's enough of my rambling for the time being. I'll bring you out. I think we're about a mile from a shelter where we might stop and eat a snack. So I'll bring you out there. Another gorilla out. Well, folks, we are at Ed Garvey Shelter. Grabbing a little lunch. Beautiful morning. And I haven't talked about it yet, but what am I eating for lunch? Well, this ought to gross you out. A little bit of bread, some spam, peanut butter and pepperonis. Don't knock it till you try it folks. I think the trudge has got some cheese and sausages he's munching down on. Pretty cool shelter. It's got I'll show it to you in a minute, but uh, anyway, just wanted to talk about what I eat for lunch. Now you know. Alright, so again we are at the Edward B. Garvey Memorial Shelter. You got a platform below picnic table, a little fire pit area, privy, some tent sites. However, you gotta go downhill that way, but four tents to get water. Neat feature on this shelter is to get to the upper deck, you come around the back. Because you cannot access the second level from the front of the shelter. So we'll just climb up here right quick. And there you have. Pretty cool, huh? Good view to wake up to. Be a great place to get out of the weather. You never know about the mice. And your own little back deck to go back down. So, just ate lunch. We are about to hit the trail, heading for the cliffs. Check in then. All right, all you happy hiking hippies. It's your boy, the Vanilla Gorilla. And we have made it to Weaverton Cliffs. I can tell you. Hey, we got smiled on with the weather today for this view, but worth every every step of the rocks just to get here and check out this gorgeous view. I uh, can't really tell it, but Harper's Ferry's down that way, so we got quite a drop to get down to those train track areas, and we cross under 340, get on the CNO Canal, it's two miles on that to get to the footbridge into Harper's Ferry. Man, what a view. Best view of the trip. So, uh, we got some serious down to do, and then we'll be on the footpath. We'll bring the phone back out then. Check y'all in a bit. All right, folks, we have come down off of the last climb. We're uh, getting ready to cross 340. Beautiful little creek below us. We're heading for the CNO Canal here in a little bit. Check in a bit. 
Yeah. And here we are under 340. And this is the AT. Heading south. Probably didn't pick it up. It's actually really cool down there. Uh, we can't be far from the canal now. Pull you back out there in a second. Enjoying this gorgeous day on the AT. Well, folks, it took four or five days, but we finally found where everybody's talking about the Maryland section is easy. <laughs> the CNO Canal. Uh, when you get down here, you got two miles of flat here on the canal and then you are crossing the bridge into Harper's Ferry and I got to tell you it feels pretty good so we're looking forward to getting into town getting to where we're staying do some laundry because I stink but uh, loving every minute of this this is great we'll, uh, we'll pull you back out when we get to the bridge because it'll be time for the victory dance. Vanilla Gorilla out. So we're just taking a little break on the CNO Canal here. We're almost to the footbridge. What a beautiful spot to sit and watch the river and check out some kayakers and just uh, comes right, right there. Just soaking in all the beauty that today is offering so it's worth every second of it get out of here and get some of this well folks it would appear that we have arrived at the bridge that will take us into Harper's Ferry been a beautiful trek we'll turn you back on when we get up in the middle of the river all right folks after 45 ish miles with all the side trails and walking we've done 45 50 miles we are crossing the river into Harper's Ferry Maryland is officially checked off mm. feels good now if you know me you know when we get here we're gonna have to do what we came to do which is check out and have a few cold ones which we intend to do shortly man what a what a beautiful fun adventure it's been Remember, folks, if my fat ass can get off the couch, start exercising, and get out here and do some of this, so can you. So, go get some of it. Pull you out a little later. Vanilla Gorilla, out!